Welcome to the journey of you and me. I'm Kata, this is Bunny, and these two beautiful barrels of love are Birdie and Bowie. For the past 10 years, we have been on a quest of healing and reconnection in search of a more soul-fulfilling life. Here we are with Bruce Sprinterstein on a new adventure, sharing the one of our soul's journey. here at Watson's Leisure Centre and this is Bruce Sprinterstein. Van life, here we come. So the dream of travelling Australia in a four-wheel drive camper van was born in a pretty low period in our lives. I spent all of 2019 and half of 2020 in a hospital bed fighting for my life with chronic kidney failure. We have never needed a holiday more than this one. So excited for a new challenge and to create new memories together. I'm just going to take you on a little tour. So first things first is we will be getting rid of this beautiful um, kitchen, open up this space and reutilizing it to put it, move it over into this space. So we're going to be getting two big retractable doors just to give it a little bit more accessibility and just figuring out the ramp situation because we just had a little <laughs> mishap with the ramp that we did have. So it's literally like a death. <laughs> it's a nitro circuit. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out that situation and then good to go. Yep. Kate and Barney contacted me about probably eight months ago now. We fortunately had the all terrain just about ready to be released. We took some plans off Barney and Cater, restructured the whole inside of the vehicle. Uh, this is what we ended up with, which we're pretty proud of, and so are they. You've my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a ring in a few days and see if you've um, stopped smiling in between. Big shout out to Shane Clouton from Coffs Mobile Welding. Clouto is a legend. What he and Keaters did with the roof rack, side ladders and board hooks is so sick. This is Wally. He is the engineer who does all the hand control modifications on all our vehicles. What a legend. Damo and Johnny were in charge of all the van's modifications and they went above and beyond to give us the ultimate setup for our ventures. We decided to head down the beach with our friends, the Browns, just to give it a test in the sand and just see how all-terrain it was. It didn't disappoint, that's for sure, and that was before we even deflated the tyres. I also wanted to run some scenarios of getting bogged, so I was confident enough to get us out if the time ever came. It took ages of weaving in and out of the softest sand, and finally, on a slow turnaround, we sunk. We have the Storm deflators that automatically drop the PSI to 18. So after using them, doing a little digging and placing the recovery tracks in place, we were good to go. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we now have bigger all-terrains on it, so I'm pretty excited to give it a good test in some big tracks. So we are actually on the Gold Coast right now. We hadn't gone since 2018, um, then Barney was sick all of 2019, and then 2020 there was border closures constantly and we became very attached to our dogs and don't want to ever leave them, so we just haven't come up this way, so yeah, on the Goldie, feels good. My surfboard was designed by Darren Hanley. 
He's been making my boards for a few years now, and each one just keeps getting better and better. But this one, man, it is insane. And now that it's all finished, it's time to measure out where I put my elbow straps. I just lie down on top and find the best position on the board, and they mark it, take it back to the factory, and drill it in place. Thanks, I'll see you tomorrow. Wow. Holy shit. Pretty special. I just wanted to catch the freedom and the spirit. Obviously, it means a lot to you. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to do it. That's fucking yeah. incredible. Oh, wow. Fuck, mate, it means so much. Look. Christian Chapman, he's done, he's done a spray for me before. Like, so I sent him a uh, picture of a pelican in mid flight said see what you can do i knew he'd come up with something crazy well it was mum's favorite bird and and i guess with her love of it and i'll always love pelicans because of mum yeah there's nothing cool than watching a flock of is it a flock maybe i don't know whatever a uh um multiple, a multiple of is and they just glide and they just cruise along the waves and and you can see the poem and the poem is a beautiful bird is a pelican. His beak can hold more than his belly can. He can hold in his beak enough food for a week, but I'm done if I know how the hell he can. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so mum taught me that when I was super young. Awesome. So special. It is special and yeah, so pumped on it. And that's that. We have a surfboard. It's been two and a half years since my last surf. I haven't even laid on my stomach in that time. All my surgeries went through my stomach, so it's taken a pretty long time for the scarring to soften and heal. But now my board's ready. I'm so amped to get back out there. Surfing means everything to me. Follow the breeze, the leaves will tell us where to go. Lean into this moment, let it be. Will you dance with me and let go? After being out of the ocean for two and a half years, I've got my grom froth back on again, and just being out there in any condition is awesome. And I do love a good wipeout. It's nature's chiropractor. What are you doing? Drilling stuff. They, Drilling got, stuff. they got you on the tools. Is that going in? No. Oh wait, lefty loosey. Yeah, no, yeah, righty tidy. She's a keeper. I cannot believe the time has finally come. <laughs> what a wild journey it's been to get here. 
It's time to pack up Brucey and get on the road and see what this beautiful country has to offer us. And these little girls, they have no idea what's coming their way. They think that we're packing for a trip that Hello. is without them. Hello. We're yeah. not leaving you. What's happening? This is it. This is the last reverse out of this driveway. Oh stop, we're still connected. <laughs> Jesus. Take two. We're out of here. Bye! Bye! Can you believe it? See you later, Sorty. Hello, Australia.